The first things that come to mind when one thinks of Bangalore are outsourcing, call centers, and software enterprises. But within all its technology and economic growth lies another city. A city that nobody talks about. A city that brings us despair and hope when we think about the acceptance of sexual minorities in India. understanding of Adhijra is that uh, they are important and that's why they become transgenders. But uh, it's basically these people uh, reject the kind of uh, uh, masculinity and become women. I think uh, the problems that most of the uh, sexual minorities face is basically the attitude of society in not understanding um, why people are different, why people's sexuality is different, why people's gender expression is different and uh, because they are not able to understand it because there isn't enough knowledge available in society that there is this whole uh, resistance to this. And basically all of us are uh, not comfortable with something that is different so that's that's what is the problem they say this with such pride that I have cut some of my body parts to become a woman it's very complicated yes. it will take a long time to understand <laughs> okay. I bond as male but my feelings are like like female. So when my parents come to know that I'm a, uh, I mean, I'm having a feminine character, they start discriminating. So after that, so discrimination happens from the family. So no acceptance. Okay. So what we do after, uh, if there is no acceptance, we leave our family and we, we join the community. If I want to work in a company or if I want to work in any other uh, um, uh, industries, so there is no uh, peaceful work because again the uh, industry. Uh, Workers will come and come to know that I am a feminine, so they start sexually harassing. Article 377 talks about unnatural uh, sex. Natural sex means that sex for procreation and anything outside of that is unnatural. So, if you are a homosexual or a bisexual and you are engaged in uh, unnatural sex, then automatically you become a criminal. And because you are a criminal, there are other uh, basic rights which are denied to you, which under the constitution of India is a guarantee. I don't want to be stick in a box, so I want to be diverse. I think because uh, most of the time uh, people are afraid of their uh, to expose themselves or their sexual desires or their gender expression that. Uh, the, the gundas or the police take advantage of this situation and then exploit uh, people who are like and in the case of the police it's more uh, like you know trying to um, exploit people for monetary gain charging petty cases charging uh, theft cases so these kind of things जहाँ <laughs> कई को मारते मैं ही मैं ऐसे ही रहते मैं चेक्स करके मेरा जीना है गवर्नमेंट में मेरे को काम दिए गए क्या मैं करती मेरा बदन आके चेक्स करने का बदन है some minutes before we people were very very shy and very difficult to and very I mean very hasty to come outside because of the stigma and discrimination war of the society. Not a lot of change happened. So we are going to 
a complex. So we are going to a mall. We are going to a shopping complex to buy everything. एक बस में गए तो भी लेडी सीट में गए तो तुम मूड बोलते हैं. जेंस सीट में बैठे तो मूड बोलते हैं. अभी किधर भी बैठ सकते हैं. किधर भी बैठ सकते हैं. किधर भी जा सकते हैं. Sexual minorities are not only in Bangalore. So sexual minorities all over in India, all over in the world. I born as me. My feelings change when I was eight years. My feelings are feminine. I started behaving like a girl. I started dressing like a girl when my parents forced me to stop myself. When my parents forced me to stop myself, I was beaten up. I was locked up. I was tortured by my parents. Like chakka, like wombat, like sangha, something, something.